Informix Dynamics Server 11.5, codenamed Cheetah 2, supports Dynamic SQL in its stored procedure language. Informix supports three different languages in its user-defined routines. Stored procedure language, that's SPL, C, and Java. The procedure written in SPL is compiled and saved as bytecode in the Informix system catalogs. When you issue execute function or execute procedure statement, Informix interprets this bytecode and executes the statements within it. Consider the procedure full static, which has a single static statement, update my tab. In this case, the statement, the columns you update, the weight loss, they're all fixed. They have to be fixed. The only modifications you can make is the values you want to set and compare in the predicates. Those values are passed in as parameters to this procedure full static. There are situations where you may need to create SQL dynamically depending on uh, your business logic. You may need to determine the table you want to update or even the columns you want to update uh, dynamically. So in those cases, so far you had to write procedures in C or Java. With IDS 11.5, you can write SPL language procedures and create statements dynamically such as this and execute them. In this procedure, full dynamic, we have a statement, update statement, which is created dynamically and assigned to local variable query. This update statement is then executed using the new statement execute immediate that we have introduced in 11.5. Execute immediates. Execute immediate takes a single SQL query within the character or a string variable that's passed in as a parameter. The new SQL code function tells you if the statement that was executed previously was successful or not. A zero value indicates the SQL operation was successful. A non-zero value will return you the corresponding error. To execute this function, you simply do execute procedure or a function. In IDS 11, we support execution of non-cursory statements such as insert, update, delete, create table, create index, update statistics, alter and so forth, and cursory statements such as select which deal with result set. To support cursory statement, we support prepare, declare, open, fetch, close, and free statements. These are all now valid within SPL as well. For people who have programmed an embedded SQL, these statements will be familiar. We also have a new built-in function, SQL code, which returns the error number of the previous SQL execution. A zero value returned by this indicates the previous operation was successful. Execute immediate can take either a string variable or a quoted string within it. Currently, it supports a maximum state statement length of 32K. And it also allows one SQL statement per execute immediate call. You cannot have multiple SQL statements separated by semicolon and pass it to execute immediate. Let's look at a slightly more elaborate example. Again, in this case, we have created an update statement based on the parameters and our business logic. At the end of all of our calculation, we have to create a valid SQL statement and that's the update statement that we create here. Then we call execute immediate statement to execute this query and the SQL code will return you the value 
for the operation that you submitted previously. Whenever you use dynamic SQL in your procedure, you always have to be worried about SQL injection. Right now, in Informix, since we allow only one statement per execute immediate, this is not an issue. But as a good practice, it's always uh, good to sanitize your parameters and use quotes around the character parameters that you concatenate uh, within your execute immediate statement. Because in fu future, we may support multiple statements for execute immediate statement. When you invoke such a procedure from JDBC, you have to use callable statement. One restriction is if you have a procedure invoking dynamic statements, you cannot use it in the conjunction of other DML such as select insert update because you will end up executing one DML within other DMLs which is an illegal operation. To enable you to handle result set, we have these statements supporting cursor operations within SPL language. Prepare prepares a query for a given string. Declare declares the cursor over such a statement. The open fetch close loop helps you to receive the result set and uh, do any business logic with the results. Finally, you can free the cursor and free the statement. For each of these operations, you can use the SQL code function to retrieve the errors. In this example, we have a select statement which retrieves the result, retrie retrieves the rows from the sys tables. It also has one parameter. It determines the range uh, for the tab ID predicate. We prepare the statement named statement ID, declare the cursor my cur over it. After we open the cursor, uh, please note when we open the cursor, we are using the parameter max ID. So this max ID was passed into this procedure get list. After we open the cursor, we go in a loop fetching the rows one by one. At the end of the loop, we close the cursor, free the cursor, and then free the statement. It's pretty much straightforward and similar to what you have in embedded SQL. One thing to note is, since the statements are prepared every time you execute a SQL, you do pay the cost of preparing the dynamic statement within the SPL every time. If you have a static statement, Informix compiles and saves the plan within the catalogs and s saves you from uh, re-preparing the statement every time. But of course, with dynamic SQL, you do have the flexibility of creating whatever SQL that you want at runtime. So there is a price to pay for it. In summary, IDS 11.5 supports dynamic statements in its SPL, that is stored procedure language. Execute immediate helps you to execute non-cursory statements and prepare, declare, open, fetch, close and free statements help you to execute cursory statements which handle result set. SQL code helps you to check the error status of the previous SQL operation. Informix Info Center has information on all this and explains each of these statements in detail. Thank you very much.